Hey everyone's Jackal Wolf back in MC Eternal with another five minutes. That's how I did it. Now, if you've been following along, you know that we are working our way through the quest book. Last episode, we did the uh, door factory, which allows us to create some really, really interesting doors. And at the same time, we did the rusty hatch. Now, I went, I took those doors, uh, and we went and uh, sort of built myself a little bit of a perimeter wall. Uh, it is not, you know, great to look at, but it's going to help keep uh, some of these mobs uh, out of my base area. Uh, the, uh, you know, peace candle is keeping them from spawning within a certain area, uh, but they're still kind of spawning out and wandering in. I just kind of want to keep them from doing that uh, because they are. A little bit of a distraction so uh but that works out really really good those doors are really really cool uh this episode what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on some storage options now we already did the storage drawers they were really early on uh in the game uh but we're gonna take a look at the uh storage crate uh, the oak crate, or I guess the portable storage crate, uh, the backpacks, uh, and then the storage bag, which is, I think, actually my favorite of all of these. So to start, what we're going to have to do is create ourselves a storage crate. Uh, to make a storage crate, we are first going to need a wood casing. That is any wood log, uh, four sticks, and four planks get you a wood casing. If we take that wood casing, put it into a crafting table with four more planks and four chests, uh, we get a small storage crate. Now, these are upgradable. But if we take a look here, it's you know going to require like four void crystals, which requires a uh, redstone resonator or something like that. And then the next one up is like some empowered uh, void crystals. So uh, more expensive than what we got uh, right now. But uh, these by themselves are really, really cool. You can see... Uh, I want to say it's about four chests worth of uh, material in here, uh, as opposed to, you know, just your regular single chest. So one block's worth, and you got a ton of storage in here, which is really, really cool. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up our uh, quest book here. We're going to go take the uh, rewards. We got 50 monies, and then we got a storage crate keeper. And it's not part of the advancement, but we might as well talk about this now. Uh, right now, this is just like a regular chest. If we were to break it, anything inside of it gets, you know, sort of dropped and left behind. Uh, if you are wanting to move your, your crates, you know, from one spot to another, uh, you can use these storage crate keepers uh, to, you know, to basically give you a temporary uh, ability to move these. So I've got a bunch of items in here. I, the these are craftable. They're not super expensive. Uh, black quartz, four iron, and four uh, wood planks. So not super, super expensive. Uh, so you need to do a big uh, project. Uh, but it is a little bit of a, a pain uh, if you're moving something, you know, day in and day out. So uh, if we take that storage crate keeper, we got to put it into the chest that we want to move. Uh, and then now if we go and break it, all those items came with it. And doesn't actually tell us what's in there, but that's okay. Uh, if I go place it down now, we can open it up, take those items out. Once you've placed it though, it is now back to a regular storage crate. So not great for portable storage, uh, but it is still a really, really cool uh, item there. Great for extra storage uh, around your base. Uh, one other thing that we can do with this, uh, I've got all of my storage already in, uh, you know, chests down below. Uh, if we were to take this storage crate, put it in a crafting table with four more planks, we get a chest storage crate upgrade. So basically what I can do is I can go apply this to any chest. I'm not going to do it to this one here because I kind of want to show something. On a single uh, chest, it will, you know, basically turn that into a, you know, crate. Uh, on a double chest, it's going to take half the items and, you know, just put it into one of the storage crates. But uh, to activate it, I'm just going to hit shift, right click. There you go. There's the one storage crate. There's the other crate. So this one remains full. Uh, this one is, you know, one, you know, chest worth of uh, material in here. So, you know... Really nice for converting, uh, but your double chests don't remain double chests. They just you know, remain single ones. But uh, that is okay. That is probably not a problem. So that is the storage crates. We've already got our rewards for that. Next up is going to be the uh, oak or the portable storage crates. These are more like a shulker uh, than uh, they are like you know one of those storage crates. So uh, to craft one, it is simply four iron and four wood planks uh, gets you a oak crate. Um, if we go and open it up, um, we can see that this just got one line of storage in here. So these aren't great for storage, uh, but we can throw stuff in here. We can break it. And there you go. We, you know, we've got our, you know, portable storage, place it down, open it back up, take our stuff out. 
These are fine. They're, you know, they're fairly cheap to make. Uh, the lack of storage in them makes them a little bit uh, less useful. So uh, not the best of the options. Uh, if you want to make like adventure maps or something like that for your friends, you can actually lock these in an anvil with I think a piece of iron or something like that. Um, but once you place them, you can't pick them back up. They're, I think they're only breakable after that point. But uh, they are kind of cool. They are, you know, really, really nifty. Uh, but that is the uh, st the portable storage crate. Uh, we'll go collect our 50 monies there. Nothing super exciting for a reward, but uh, we just want to make sure we get that check mark. Uh, next up is going to be the backpack and then the storage uh, bags. The, this is where we really get into the nice portable storage for uh, MC Eternal. So uh, to make a backpack, we're going to need a bunch of leather. Now you can get leather, you know, pretty much any of your regular ways, killing any of your regular mobs. I think there's a couple other mobs out there that do drop it. Uh, if you don't have an easy source of leather though, uh, you can take any uh, cooked meat and uh, place it on a drying rack. And after it's like 20 minutes or something like that, it is a really long drying time, uh, but it will turn itself into leather. So any cooked meat, uh, if you used an uncooked meat, it will generally turn it into a jerky, uh, which is, you know, not what you want uh, if you're, you know, aiming for leather, but uh, it is, you know, another type of food source. Uh, so we'll go right click, pick up that piece of leather. Now the leather for the backpack is actually uh, going to be this tanned leather. So we got to do a little bit more to it. Uh, first off, what we're going to do is we got to make ourselves self some uh, bound leather. So that is uh, leather and two strings. I think you could also use the uh, silk uh, string as well. We'll be getting to that in a moment. Uh, but that gets you some bound leather. We'll take the bound leather, throw it into a furnace. And as soon as this is done, we'll have some tanned leather. And there you go. We've got some tanned leather. We're going to come over here. We're going to place uh, the tanned leather in this uh, recipe. Uh, but uh, to make this backpack, we're also going to need some string. Now, like I said before, you know, you can you know, get your regular string in the world uh, from like spider webs and spiders and stuff like that. Uh, there is a, a second option for string. Uh, if you've been cutting any trees down, there's a good chance you've come across these silkworm eggs. If you go and, you know, kind of plant these silkworm eggs, they got a little bit of a randomness to it there we go so that was about one in five i've seen a you know one in like three so a much better than a chicken egg as we're forgetting the the stuff that you want but he will eventually grow up when they get to be full size they will start dropping these silk cocoons and this guy's dropped a couple i've just been picking them up you know by accident uh but the silk cocoons if we were to take one put it in the crafting table uh we can get two pieces of silk thread this is not the best recipe for it uh, we can actually use uh, two other things one of which is the mort and pestle uh, that we, you know, crafted a couple of episodes ago. Uh, it's one of the Pam's Harvest Craft items. If we place it in the world, uh, we can go and take uh, five at a time. If five is the maximum, you can do one, you know, you can do from one to five. Take the pestle, right click on it, and then we went and we picked up 25. So that's five per uh, cocoon here, which is really, really good. Uh, there is one better though. Uh, again, it is a Pam's Harvest Craft. Uh, oh, sorry, this is a mystical world item uh, called a spindle. Uh, it is simply a stick, three wood slabs, and a tripwire hook. That gets you a spindle. If we put it back into the crafting table and then put one of those silk cocoons in there, we are now getting nine per cocoon. So uh, if you are low on uh, string, this is a very, very easy way uh, of getting it. This guy's going to be ready to pop here in a second. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to take four of those uh, silk strings put it in the crafting table with the four tanned leather and a chest any of the uh the regular chests uh, will work and there you go we have now got a backpack now this one's nice we can right off the bat shift and click and we can name it so we call it uh my backpack and there you go we can open it up there's only two slots so it's already better than the, the oak crate uh but the really cool thing is we can actually put it on our body so we can replace a you know piece of armor uh with it and you know it'll actually show up uh on us which, which is kind of cool you know it's 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 nifty you gotta kind of take it off to access it but that's not uh the end of the world uh but it does take up an armor slot there uh the other thing we can do is we can go into our baubles menu uh, i've got this bottomless provisions bag i think i got it as a uh, reward for something I don't even really uh, know how to use it yet uh, but we could go we could take that and put it on our clothing bobble uh, and again it still shows up uh, as you know a backpack there and then we can go put our armor back on and there you go so it actually shows up 
on her backpack still kind of, you know, morphs through the armor. Uh, but that is really cool. So that's another form of a portable storage. Uh, the last one I want to work on today uh, is going to be uh, the uh, the storage bag. Now, this is the one that I think is actually uh, the, you know, really, really cool. Actually, before we jump into that, let's go and collect our 50 rewards. And then the storage bag is really, really nifty. Uh, it does take a little bit of leather. I've got some here that was a sort of, a, you know, uh, tanning while we were uh, working on it. It just needs the regular leather though. It does not need the tanned leather. Uh, so we'll come over here. Six pieces of leather, uh, one redstone, one gold ingot, and a string or a silk thread uh, gets you a storage bag. Now this is really really cool because we can open this up uh, immediately we can go and change the color on it. We don't have to dye it. We don't have to do anything special with it. So that is one really, really cool thing. Uh, the next thing about it that I really like is we can toggle the auto pickup and we can toggle the hit deposit mode. Now the auto pickup will pick up anything that is uh, already in the bag. So we can prime this bag with some string. We can take some string here. Actually, I'm to put that pestle back and you know, we'll throw some silkworm eggs out as well. Well, so we'll go through these silkworm eggs. There's, you can see there's a silk cocoon out there. He's dropped it. Actually, this guy's dropped a silk cocoon as well. We'll throw this string out there in the world as well. And actually, let's get rid of all of it because I don't want... I want to show that this is picking it up in a particular way. So we'll get rid of all of that. And that is it for the string. So we'll come around. We'll start picking up items. And if we open up our inventory, you can see none of the string went into my inventory. All of it went right into that bag automatically, which is really, really cool. I'm going to take a little bit of that string out because the next really cool thing is the hit deposit mode. Now, if you've got a storage with, you know, actually I've already had a piece of string in there anyways, which is absolutely perfect. Uh, but if you've got a storage, you can go and left click on it and it will take everything out of the bag. Uh, oh, actually, this is this full. Oh, it made a full stack. That's why. So if we go and click it again. Oh, that is interesting. I did not notice that. There we go. So uh, it only makes a full stack. I'm kind of surprised about that. I've only played around with this a little bit. Uh, but it is kind of a cool way to empty and fill up your thing. The, to me, the big thing is I can go and prime one of these with like cobblestone. And as I'm going mining, it's just going to pick up the cobblestone. And then you can do one with like your iron ore uh, and your gold ore and all of that. And it's just going to keep picking up those items uh, as you pick them up rather than them go right into your inventory. Uh, and like I said, it's not a super expensive one. The leather is probably the hardest thing to get, uh, you know, in, uh, you know, uh, MC Eternal here. But uh, you know what? I think that's going to be it. Oh, before we do anything, let's open that. Up uh, just 75 monies for that reward, but that is okay. Uh, the bag itself, I think, is a good reward for that. But uh, let me know in the comments below if you did any of those advancements any differently than I did, or if maybe there's a use for one of these that you know I'm not aware of or I haven't actually mentioned in here. I would love to hear all the different things that you can do with these items. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please think about leaving a like and a subscribe. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at Jackal Wolf. Also, check out the description below. There will be a link to my Discord page. I would love it if you guys stopped by to say hi. As well, there will be a link to my Patreon page. If you enjoy this channel, if you enjoy this content and you want to support, stop by, check it out. There are a lot of great perks out there for all of my supporters. But that is it. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.